All right, so I'm back. I'm showered and ready for church. Now I can do 30 minutes of voiceovers before I got to go. Um, so what I was showing you is that is all of my leftover die cuts and everything from my kits. I have a ton. And then these are the digital um, collections that I have of Maggie Holmes Bloom. And that's the... <clears throat> the layout that I'm going to steal off Pinterest and this is my I do not like this photo of me but teachers are given um, every fall the first pictures that the students take is usually fall pictures and so that is who knew but that is my preschool my last photo of me as a preschool teacher so this was 2015 2016 I don't know the years are on the photos like I said I do not like but I'm going to use basil cardstock as my background and then I'm using confetti collection I bought that paper from um, Tuesday morning when I bought On Trend 2 and the Jen Hadfield patio party. And those, I. Uh... Oh, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to rip the edge of my background paper and then I'm going to put paper behind it, this yellow. and fill in that area where I ripped. For that's how it is in the sketch, or in not the sketch, but in the layout that I'm scra scrap lifting. And then they stamped in those areas. So I have my roller stamps that I'm going to use. And this one I titled, All Good Things Are Wild and Free Using an App using a card I believe and I am going to freeze in church I wore a dress which I never do I might bring my coat so I can cover my legs otherwise I'm going to be miserable so I'm going to splatter black ink no, this is silver, sorry. Silver mist. Let me charge my phone. Oh yeah, I need to seriously charge my phone. <laughs> In the worst way. Mike, I use my headset. Mike, I use the the cushions ripped on them, so now they hurt my ears to keep them on my ears. Which I don't need the headset part. I just need the mic. <laughs> All right. So the black and white layer is Maggie Holmes confetti, and the teal layer is from um, Maggie Holmes confetti as well. And that legend pattern is from the original Maggie Holmes. And then I also wanted to do a photo mat. And I guess I am going to use that same pattern as on my layers. But I think I did that because I'm going to again layer it. See? So I'm going to look for, this is open, Maggie Holmes open book, and of course here comes Patton, because he loves to lay on my papers. 
little shyster. And I didn't see. And so I have to stop my camera, get him to leave, and then start again. See? <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and adhere my layers. All right, so here's where I'm going to look for some stamps. And I guess I did not use my rolling stamps. I used some color stamps from my stash. They're like um, sentiments that I purchased a while ago when um, Joann's had a clearance on stamps. I use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink for stamping. That's my go-to ink for stamping. Yeah, I see you, Mr. Squirrel. I know that's how I'm going through bird seed like crazy, little butthead. Little booger. Now I know. Feeding the squirrels, too. <laughs> hmm. I knew the birds weren't eating all that on their own. Little stinker. I'm going to tap on the window. <laughs> oh, he doesn't care. He's like, yeah. Huh? <laughs> All right, fine. All right, so I'm going to pull out some die cuts from my stash. Or they're old. A whole, all of my, anything left over from, that's why I quit getting the, Project Life add-on because I got it strictly for the extra embellishments. So I got the regular, I got the Project Life, and I got the embellishment pack. And because I figured, oh my gosh, I'm going to run out. I need to get the Project Life one too. But that ended up being an overwhelming amount of embellishments. Never did I use all of them. And even with the regular main kit and the embellishment add-on kit, I still have embellishments left over, so it just keeps getting added and added and added. And since I use kit after kit after kit, I tend to end up accumulating it because I don't get to um, use it because I don't scrapbook with my stash much as much as I'd like to. Should take. Over my summer break, take two days a week. I scrapbook my stash and then the rest of the kids. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that is the card I use, Wild and Free. And so the layout that I'm using has embellishments going from the top of the picture across to the right and then all the way across the bottom picture. And that wild and free, I'm going to use it. I'm just going to put it beside my picture on the black and white wire. So here I'm going to pull out, this is on trend actually. And that 
car just wasn't working for me there that tag so it was a Valentine's Day tag but so I just the floral works so much better so I'm just trying to figure out how to do the tickets and then I decide that that works that goes well and so I decide to keep on with the on trend and continue to use what's working And since I'm a school teacher, I gotta use the typewriter. And then I do have that on trend um, chipboard stickers that I purchased from like Tuesday morning a while ago. And then I just haven't used them. Chipboard, I use it sparingly, I guess. I don't use, I go for stickers, flat stickers more so than the chipboard that's more bulky. However, I do need to use it more. I'm not saying I don't like dimensional, I do. For some reason, I go for stickers more so than chipboard. Because with stickers, you can, it's easier to um, cluster them. With the chipboard, you can't cluster chipboard over chipboard over chipboard because then it gets too, too heavy. Um, I'm still messing trying to figure out how to do that top. The bottom is working for me. I'm going to commit to that. Just gonna figure out what else I can use to fill in those gaps. Al Mateo came in and was trying to help me out. So I think I like the top. And the bottom is finally coming together. remembering where did I put that <laughs> so, so far so good and that's a chipboard and I like Frey Street stickers they kind of Fill in any extra gaps that might need filling. So I'm going to use the card and then I'm going to date it 2015 and 2016 those that those numbers what 
I'm leaving at 9 in 20 minutes. Is American Crafts Charm Thickers. And I think that is almost done. I'm going to fill in with some more phrases. And the wild and free card. on that looks like a teacher so I'm going to add that to it and there's my card title decide to go with that and then I'm going to add the year I'm not sure if I add the year on camera or off camera That is going to pretty much complete my layout. I'm going to do some enamel dots as always. It's just like the finishing touch. Alright, so I'm going to let you finish watching, and when I have more done, I'll be back with those. Bye.